So when does Saturn deny completely? There's a video already in my channel. Does uh, Saturn, does he just delay or does he completely deny? So in that video, because there's a thing in YouTube that Saturn delays, but he does never deny. Okay, so when does Saturn completely deny certain things? Well, see, you have to understand that Saturn is a natural malefic. And as per gradations, he's the worst of the malefics. Now, what does it mean to be a malefic? Malefic is one who spoils the ambience around you. So, for example, if you join a company, a new company, during Saturn Dasha, then it is most likely that depending on the chart and depending on the Mahadasha or the Antar Dasha, of course, there are chances that it could be a startup or a small company or a place where the language is different or a place where uh, there's some kind of uh, scarcity going on, okay? Now, what is scarcity? Scarcity can be of anything. It could be language, it could be of funds, it could be of uh, sponsorships, it could be of advertising, sales, anything. Or it could be a bit with the salary also, okay? So... <clears throat> So, where, whenever you do something new, during Saturn Dasha, there will be some scarcity. Now, does it mean that overall it will be very bad? Uh, well, certainly not. It does not mean that it will be bad. It just means that you will sometimes go uh, on a hand. You, you will have a hand-to-mouth situation sometimes, okay? So, that is all it means. But sometimes that is what we are exactly going to discuss today. Sometimes it can right away deny certain things rather than just delaying. Okay. So, for example, when you talk of denial, it is very important to ask this question which area of life are you talking about? Because many times people think, oh, Saturn is here, he will just delay something or he will just deny. Well, you have to understand de deny what? Which area of life? Let me give you an example because the 10th house is a phenomenal house for your career. It's the house of name, fame, status, power, position. But do you know that the 10th house can, uh, if activated in the dasha, can uh, keep you unmarried or can get you divorced or can give you physical separation because of work? So when you are talking of Saturn, it is imperative you ask this question. Bad, good, for what? Especially when it comes to Saturn, you must ask this question. So now, uh, let's talk of a situation uh, which is related to marriage, you know, married life, or rather the event of wedding, okay? Because the married life is very difficult to analyze since you need to see the 30, 40 years of Mahadasha, Antardasha and all this, but the event of wedding is relatively simpler to analyze. So for example, if... Uh, Saturn is placed in the 6th house, not in your Lagna chart, in your Bhava chart, okay? So, if you do not know what is Bhava chart, then please go and type in YouTube, Exotic Astrology Bhava chart, B-H-A-V-A, and you will get the video. So, please see that video before you uh, jump into conclusion. So, if Saturn is in the 6th house of your Bhava chart, and, 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 okay, not just 6th house, and, the Nakshatra Lord of Saturn. So, which means, suppose Saturn is placed um, in Rohini Nakshatra in the 6th house, okay. Then, who is the Nakshatra Lord of Rohini? We, we know Nakshatra Lord is the moon. So, if now, moon is also placed in the 6th house or in the 10th or in the 1st house, then you can come to a conclusion that during Saturn Mahadasha or Antar Dasha, marriage cannot happen or it is very, very, very difficult. So then the marriage is denied if the Saturn Mahadasha comes at the age of 20, 25, 30, you know. So that's a problematic situation because Saturn Mahadasha is there, is going to be there for 19 years, right? So you know, till the end of Saturn Mahadasha, it cannot happen. Now you may say, oh, but I had Saturn in 6th house and, you know, uh, I got married, well, maybe in the bhav chart, uh, actually it is in the 5th, not in the 6th, and sometimes maybe the nakshatra lord is well placed. So then it may delay, but it may not deny. But if the nakshatra lord is also badly placed, 
it will certainly deny. And along with that, if Saturn is badly placed for that event and the Nakshatra Lord is also badly placed, and along with that, if the Karaka is also badly placed, which means if uh, Venus, the Karaka for marriage, is also very badly placed, so if Venus is afflicted, is in debility, or he is in the Dustanas, especially the, the sixth house, and he's also badly placed in Navamsha, then, well, certainly marriage can be denied. <laughs> okay. Now, apart from this, uh, you have to see the other placements in the chart. So, for example, if you see Saturn is in the sixth house in Rohini, and Moon, the Nakshatra Lord, is also in the sixth house, and Venus, the Karaka for marriage, is also in the tenth house, and the Lord of the second, seventh, and eleventh, because these three are the houses of marriage. So, if the lords of these three houses are also placed in bad houses, like the sixth house or the tenth house, bad for uh, for carry uh, for marriage, okay, not for other events. So, if they are placed in bad houses or the generic problematic houses like the Dustanas, like you know six, eight, twelve. So then. You know, Saturn is badly placed for that event, Nakshatra, Karaka, and the other signifying lords of that event. Then you can say with certainty that during Saturn Antar Dasha, the person cannot get married. But suppose the person has, uh, let's say, Venus Mahadasha going on, and the person has Saturn Antar Dasha. So during those three, three and a half years, the person will not get married. And then if uh, after 25, then three years, 28, then after 28, when Mercury Dasha comes, then the person will be married. Okay. So, therefore, you need to understand that if all the four factors, the planetary placement, Nakshatra, Karaka, and other lords of that event, uh, if all the four are badly placed, then it is 100% denied. Okay. But the problem is people will not see all this. They will just see, oh, my Saturn is in six. You know, what you're speaking is false. You are lying. You are cheating. You are just creating fear. I got married, you know, in my life. Oh, well, certainly you can get married. I'm just talking of that particular planet as Dasha, okay? So, this is a case where you have these placements and your Antar Dasha or Mahadasha is coming during the time uh, when people generally get married, you know, 26, 28, 27. Then the problem is you might have to wait for three, three and a half years. Well, then you can focus on other things. You can focus on your uh, career, your hobbies, your business, job, you know, your uh, passion. You can focus on your spiritual life. You can focus on networking and all this. So, that's the beauty of astrology. You can use it to actually know when things will happen so that you can plan your life accordingly. The purpose of astrology is not to uh, just sit and keep crying, oh, this is going to happen now, what should I do? No, if this is not happening, then something else is going to happen, right? So, uh, we should take care of that, okay? We can focus our energies in that area at least rather than uh, sitting and crying, oh, this is not happening, that's not happening, okay? Yeah. So, therefore, please understand that uh, Saturn can completely deny certain things sometimes, okay? But the denial will come not eternally for your whole life, but it can come when your dasha is uh, of Saturn, okay? And this surprisingly does not only hold true with Saturn, it holds true with every other planet or any other planet to be precise, which means if you are having dasha of Mercury and the same rules apply, so it will be the same. Just does not mean that it's a benefit, so it will give you things, okay? It's true even for Jupiter, even for Venus, okay? But to speak of other planets, okay? So therefore, uh, for marriage, use these four principles, the placement, nakshatra, karaka, and the lords of the 2nd, 7th, and 11th, and then I'm sure you will get an answer, all right? And if you uh, want me to make the same video for other events like career and so and so, then please let me know in the comments and please also let me know in the comments what placement of Saturn do you have, where is the Nakshatra Lord of Saturn and what results did you get during Saturn Mahadasha or Antar Dasha, alright? Thank you so much, wish you all the best during Saturn Mahadasha or after or before. 
or during antar dashas also and do not fear just see what saturn is trying to tell you so that you can know where to focus all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who may need it and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section all right thank you